The Princess Royal has been a keen supporter of Scotland's national rugby union team, but missed the team's win over England on Saturday. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Info Mate. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Instead, Princess Anne, 73, headed to Namibia, arriving on Saturday afternoon, according to a court circular. The prince was asked to represent King Charles at the burial ceremony of Dr. Hagger Gottfried G. Nob, former president of the Republic of Namibia, held at Heroes Acre, Windhoek, Namibia on Sunday. She later attended an official lunch hosted by the new president of the Republic of Namibia, Nangala Mbumba. On Saturday, when she arrived, and paid a visit to Dr. G. Nob's widow, Mrs. Monica Gaingos. It was a short visit to Namibia where the princess is due to attend the British Horse Racing Authority's 2024 Thoroughbred Industry Staff Awards at Ascot Racecourse on Monday. Since the King's cancer diagnosis, Buckingham Palace announced on February 5th, Charles has postponed all his public duties, but continues to work behind the scenes on the red boxes of state papers. Last Friday, the palace shared footage of the king looking at some of the 7,000 messages of support he had received from the public as he told Prime Minister Rishi Sunak he had so many wonderful letters and cards that made me cry even more. Of time. Charles will miss a private memorial service for his second cousin, the late King Constantine II, former King of Greece, at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on Tuesday. Queen Camilla will lead members of the royal family at the service, which is likely to include Princess Anne and Prince William. After a busy week of engagements, the Princess Royal will travel to Jebel Ali, Dubai, on Friday March 1, to attend a Seafarers Awareness and Orientation Day in her capacity as head of the Seafarers delegation. Today also marks her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence's 69th birthday. It has not been confirmed in royal notes whether Sir Tim, who has been married to Anne for more than 32 years, will join her in Dubai. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.